So much for Ganabelt. Good riddance. You said it. So, was the Lord of Calaglia like Ganabelt too? No. Balsef was huge, a real tough guy act. Now that I think of it, his crest was different too. His was a flaming cross. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, anyway, what do you guys plan on doing from here? We keep moving. Three Renan Lords remain, and we won't rest until their thrones are empty as well. That worked for you, Xion? That was my endgame from the beginning. Uh, hey, so if it's not too much trouble, could I maybe come along? Isn't Cislodia your home? I mean, yes, but... It's just, now that everyone knows what I've been hiding, well, it might be best to get as far away as I can until it all quiets down. Is that okay? I promise I'll pull my own weight. Sure. You're welcome to join us. Taking off, huh? Yeah. Thanks for everything. It's too bad. I wish there was more we could do to pay you back for all you've done. I'll see to it personally that Zephyr's remains reach Calaglia safely. What's next for Cislodia? I honestly couldn't tell you. The enemy infiltrated its way right to our core as a people. Only time will tell if we can rise above our suspicions and come together. Zephyr once told me that so long as you don't give up, there's no wall that can't be torn down. Sounds about right. And thanks to you, the greatest obstacle that was in our way is now gone. I suppose the rest of it will be up to us. I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you head off, there's something I wanted to give you. Hmm? Scrub up real nice. It was a parting gift. It's like speaking to one of the old Dan and heroes from Legend. Where to next then? Elda Menencia. You're really going to travel in that thing? Why not? It's not as heavy as it looks. 
Actually, there's someone I was hoping we could invite along with us. You can't be serious. Got some place to be? Not really. I mean, I can't stay here, of course. Then again, there's no one waiting for me back in Calaglia, either. Plenty of ditches along the road. Maybe I'll find one to die in. How about a fresh start? After the kinds of things I've done, I don't know where I'd even begin. Your father said that as long as you face the past, there's hope. I think it might be a little late for that. He also said he'd fought and lost all his life, but didn't regret it in the slightest. <laughs> it's only over when you give up. Keep fighting and even that wall inside you can be brought down. Don't you want to see what your dad saw on the other side of that wall? What he was fighting for? Do you... Do you think I'm even worthy to? That's for you to decide. I... I'm sick of losing everything I love of running from life. Maybe all that's left is to just turn around and face it. Count me in. Finally, I thought you'd never finish. We've still got a ways to go. This armor was a gift from Bregan. What if it really did belong to a Danon hero once upon a time? He challenged an overwhelmingly powerful Renin foe and perished for it. I wonder how he felt having the hopes of the people riding on him. Hey. Did you make off with that armor while none of us were looking? Because I've got to admit, you look pretty snazzy in it. He didn't steal it, if that's what you mean. Bregan gave it to him as a parting gift. Ah, right. Although it makes sense, I guess. It's like a symbol of rebellion in its own way. Which is why it should have been your father wearing this, not me. I don't know. I don't think he could have pulled it off like you, man. I wonder what the last wearer of this armor was dreaming of for Cislodia when they decided to rise up and fight. Who knows? Anyone who could have answered that is long gone. Truth is always lost with the departed. Are you saying there's no point in trying to understand why they gave up their lives? No. Only that it's impossible to know for sure. Look, I can tell that you're concerned about Cislodia's future. But we do have other things to take care of. You can't shoulder all of the world's problems, Alfin. If you try to, you'll only find yourself buried by the weight of it all. Yeah, I know. My path is forward, and I'll do what I can, here and now. You were born in Calaglia, right, Law? Hmm? Oh yeah! It's scalding hot all the time there, so I was shocked when I learned Cislodia is the exact opposite. Not to mention dark. Not anymore, thankfully. How did you even manage to cross the border between realms? All five realms are supposed to be closed off, due to the nature of the crown contest. What? Is this an interrogation now? I didn't mean it like that. 
I just figured if a Danon like you was able to slip between realms, it could come in handy later. Ah, good thinking. I don't think I really did anything all that creative, though. What? Don't tell me you climbed over the walls of fire. Oh, hell no. Not even Zoogles could do something that crazy. Nah, I stowed away. In what? Oh, you'll like this. The realms don't maintain much contact with each other, but there are resources each is looking to trade for. So, there are cargo convoys from each of the lords that go around a few times a year to lend those resources to each other. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. That was the only time the gates of Calaglia would ever open up. Right. Obviously, they don't let Danons ride with them, so I snuck on board inside some cargo instead. So you were carried out of the realm? You did great not getting caught. Way to go. Eh, let's just say I've always had a knack for sneaking around since I was little. I was also really desperate to get the hell out of Calaglia at the time. I had more guts than brains that day. If I had a guess, I probably wasn't the first one to ever do something like that. Danon or Renan. I wonder if that's how Menic, I mean, Ganabelt, was able to hear about what happened in Calaglia so quickly. So in other words, we should always assume that the enemy is informed about whatever it is that we may be up to, wherever we go. Thanks for letting me stick around, you guys. Sure, we're happy to have you. But are you sure you don't want to head back to Calaglia? Yeah, I'm not sure how I can help yet. But for now, I'm going to follow Alfin and see what happens next. I guess even someone as fashionable as you wouldn't know a whole lot about Dan and armor, right? Not really, no. Like, what's with that scarf? I don't remember that being with any of the armor we found back there. Oh, well, remember how you told me you thought I'd look good wearing some blue? I took your advice to heart and decided to give it a go. Uh, oh, I see. Well, it suits you. Would you say I've learned to spruce things up like you suggested? I wouldn't go that far. As if this place wasn't cold enough, it's also pitch black. I'm amazed anyone can live in this realm. Seriously. Having all this snow everywhere makes it harder to walk or get anything done. And not having any light to see by makes the uneven terrain even more difficult. Calaglia is no walk in the park either. It's dusty and there's rocks everywhere. And it's on fire all over the place. Yeah, you're right. Now that you mention it, all those fires are a pretty weird phenomenon. They were always so annoying to navigate around. Out here, fire's as important as water to our survival. So are the trees we use for firewood. Is it that rare to see the sun here? Not just rare. Until I went to Calaglia, I'd never seen sunlight before. I'd only heard about it. I couldn't believe just how hot and bright it seemed to be. But I guess in most realms, it's just a fact of life. You're used to it. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? The way the sorts of things people take for granted change from one place to another. Shouldn't you be resting? I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll, uh, stop bothering you then. I didn't say you were bothering me. Uh... Sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to... chit-chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. Oh. When I was a little girl, the doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. 
The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? No, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lenegas. I didn't have a choice. Most likely it's long gone at this point. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just a little travel-weary is all. Looking forward to finally getting out of here, you know? Still beating yourself up about your dad, aren't you? <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But that's not what I was just thinking about. Oh? I never did tell you how I ended up hanging around with the Snake Eyes, did I? Not properly. All I know is you had a falling out with your dad and ran away from home. Getting to Cislodia almost killed me. Once there, though, I actually ended up joining a resistance organization, believe it or not. Of course, before long, someone ratted us out. And we were ambushed by the Snake Eyes. I'd never seen such brutality. If I hadn't surrendered... Law? I don't know why. They let me live. They made me watch as they butchered my friends right in front of my eyes. I still have nightmares. I hear roars of Zoogles as my friends scream. The snow stained red with blood. And all the while, those bastards laughing. I thought that with Ganabelt defeated, I'd be able to put it all behind me. Turns out that was a little optimistic. I was terrified they would kill me too. So I wound up betraying the memory of my friends and getting my old man killed in the process. I wonder if I'm any braver now. What if one day I panic again and end up running away like always? And leave us behind? You really think you'd do that? I hope not. But who's to say what I'm really capable of? Ah! Oh, I found you! Something wrong, Rinwell? How very perceptive of you! When I turned around, you were gone, so we came back to look for you. Maybe tell us next time you decide to stop? We need all our manpower to face these Zoogles. Jeez, okay. I can't help it when nature calls, can I? Nature? Ew, gross! Here? Let's make tracks, shall we? I hope he makes it through this. You invited him along. He's your liability. He's Zephyr's son, Shion. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him? Fine. Just don't come crying to me about it, alright? I've got enough deadbeats slowing me down as it is. <laughs> Why did people dig this path so far underground? Maybe it was too dangerous on the mountains for them to traverse over them. So you're saying that before Dana was conquered, Danans made this so that they'd have a way to get through the mountains? If I had to guess, they might have even lived inside of these once upon a time. Not like there's any way of knowing now. Not after all our history was lost. No, it wasn't lost. It was stolen from us by the Renans because they thought slaves didn't need it. And because keeping it around would have made it harder to control us. <laughs> it's not all gone. Look at that over there. What is it? It looks like a broken piece from a dish or something. Probably. It's true the Renans erase a lot of our history. But if we look hard enough, I think we'll find there's still plenty of it left. But first, we have to win the freedom to even look for it. We'll win it all right. Then we'll reclaim our history. I guess Messiah is the first place we met. Hala, huh, 
Yeah, I was a snake eye and you were a silver sword. Who would have thought we'd end up on the same team? You make an odd pair, it's true. You guys are the odd ones, running with a Renin. Blazing sword. It's only as strong as the one who wields it. You truly mean that? Thank you. An opponent like this should be easy. Don't get in my way! Now. You see what happened there as you crossed me. Sort of Shouldn't have done that. on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the I'm quite aware without you reminding me that you have your now and again. Told you. Lies. 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 This walking up and down is a pain. Yeah, I wish we could just go straight through without all this hassle. On the other hand, the collapsed parts let you reach some places you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Now that you mention it, the ceiling's not gonna come down on us, is it? Hey, Law. Back when we left Sisladen, you remember how you said, so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. Uh. Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master. Of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized... No matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Renin brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing. Fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, 
then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. We may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break. Oh, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow, I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense, but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Rinwell. It's just... Maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? No! Okay? It's not creepy! Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Here, Elda Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied, fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. Oh, what? No, oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. That's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Xion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey! You all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is... incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own.
So if I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy, and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? Lovely view. I won't forgive you. Stand in the way. In here, we turn here the I tables go. on him. There are still more away. left. Right. No time to hold One back. More. Burn in hell! Down Down Burn in hell. Burn in hell. Burn in hell. Burn in hell. Burn in Burn strike! Right. Next one. Already on. I'm only in the way. Air thrust. Fang flash! Check out these biceps. Pretty glorious, right? Why are guys so obsessed with their muscles? Because these puppies have yet to let me down. I think Hoodle's hungry. Funny. I could have sworn that was your stomach making all the racket. I hate camping out. Why do you keep staring at me, Xion? Just, what is that wolf on your shoulder? Oh, this thing? I love it. I got it off a street vendor for just 10 gold. I don't know if that's something to brag about. Hey, ten gold's a bargain, if you ask me. Because it wouldn't sell otherwise. It serves no practical purpose. Honestly, I'm surprised you paid ten whole gold for it. Shut up! But the detail is so lifelike. I think you made a good choice, Law. Really? I have no idea why you wear it over your shoulder, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Hoodle, come here, sweetie. Good boy. What are you doing? Uh, it's flying practice. Hoodle doesn't really like to leave my side, but if I don't make him spread those wings every now and then, they'll start to weaken. It's important he practices. Also, I'm pretty sure he put on some extra weight. Oh. Probably because everyone keeps sneaking him snacks when you're not looking. I knew it! I thought there was something fishy going on. Oh, it's really not good for birds to be overweight, you know? Oh, really? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Rinwell. You were feeding him too? You haven't been giving him anything he can't eat, have you? I'm pretty sure everything I've given him has been okay. Just to be sure, though, why don't you tell me what he can't eat? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Is something the matter? No, no, not at all. It's just... For a really long time, Hoodle was the only friend I had. So on the one hand, it makes me really happy to see everyone be so accepting. But on the other, it's a bit of an adjustment sharing him, you know? Every one of us can see that he's like family to you. I can promise no one's trying to ignore your feelings or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll talk to the others about it later. You. Here I go! Start up! Huh. 
We got the advantage. Good. Just have to make sure we what happened there. Don't worry, cause log on. We're in good form. Hey, would you look at that? Green as far as the eye can see. I think even the Zoogles look a little fuller than they usually do. They're still Zoogles. Just on a fuller stomach. Don't forget. Get lost! Ignite! I'll tear you apart! Reload! We're into, the, into the shadows! Double demon fast! Finish it! Elvin! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! All aboard the victory train! Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. Oh. You okay? You made a weird sound. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking how amazing this view is. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen mountains and fields before? Actually, now that I think about it, it's not every day we get to enjoy views like this. You too? Yeah. Calaglia has rocky landscapes, but the terrain here is completely different. Like, you see that mountain over there? Doesn't it look like a big wave that somebody turned into stone? Right? And those ones look like the horns or claws of some giant monster. I'm surprised they managed to stay up. Yeah. Just be thankful we don't have to pass under them. Actually... They won't come tumbling down that easily. <sighs> you sure about that? Menencia harvests Earth energy, which explains why the topography is so varied here. It's also why those rocks are bound to be sturdy. So all that astral energy is also what makes this realm look so lush, then? Does astral energy really have that much of an impact on the land? Yeah. Is that why even that mountain looks the way that it does? The stronger the energy is, the greater impact it has on lots of things. So yes, like a great big fire. But these imbalances are too pronounced to be nature's work. It's not how Dana would otherwise naturally look. If it's not natural, then you mean all of this is the Renans doing? <sighs> when you put it like that, even something as nice looking as this starts to feel wrong. <sighs> I'll shoot down any foe that stands in our way. Zoogles aside, the ground here is pretty nice and comfy to sit on. You can tell even without a sense of pain? Thankfully, yeah. What would you do if you couldn't even feel that much? You mean if I had to only rely on sight and sound? And couldn't even taste or smell anything? I don't even want to think about it. I guess it'd be like looking at a picture in a way, if that makes sense. A world I couldn't touch. I wonder if that's what it's like for Xion. Eighty-seven! Eighty-eight! Eighty-nine! Oh, shoot! What the? Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as it is. 
No, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. Huh. Oh, I see how it is. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. Hmm. Maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Uh, Alfin, are you crazy? <clears throat> You're right. This does make for decent training. Good call with the extra weight law. Right? Now you get it? Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm down for that! Just give me a second, I'll be all ready to roll! Okay! I'm all set! Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! Go. You two are cleaning it up. Yes, yeah, Shion. Shion. Hey, Alfin. When do you find the time to train? What's brought this on all of a sudden? It's just, even without the Blazing Sword, you'd still be able to hold your own, right? But I never see you training. I'd hardly call it a regimen. Unless exchanging blows with Zoogles counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day. But you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. Wait, I've got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... <sighs> just calm down a little, would you? Why are you so fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renan soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone again. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law! Uh, uh, sorry. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by. Doing the best we can. That's all we can ask of each other, right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. And what better way to kick it off than push-ups? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. Dispose of the trash. Pulse it! on for size! Alright, that does it! Into the shadows! Annihilation! It's time to finish this! Die! Consuming wildfire! These fists have got your name on them! We are freaking invincible! Alvin and the others truly are strong! What about me? Alvin, this ends now! Consider yourself finished! I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. a village over there. The people working in it look Danon. Look at these fields and all this livestock. Am I crazy for thinking these people seem to have it pretty easy? What the hell is going on here? 